two on against the Reds. With two outs and no score, Moise Salou takes Pete Short over the wall in center field. And Billy of the Marlins says, kiss that goodbye. I love mascots. Yeah. I lose third home run in two nights. Three nothing Marlins. It's four nothing in the top of the fourth when Eddie Tomlinson hits one deep to center. Devon White says, you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. But what happened at the wall? Well, he makes the catch, and when his glove hits the ground, the ball comes out. But contact cannot cause a fumble with the ground. That's, oh, that's a different sport. It was ruled a catch. Base is juiced in the bottom of the seventh, 4 nothing. That's one out as Willie Green robs Jeff Conine, but the ball goes in right field. And with our montage editing, we're either saying Billy the Marlin was distressed and then was pleased, or we're trying to pass on subliminal messages to buy fish. Top six, Braves up 4-1, John Smoltz, Schwerd Less. Wild pitch, Tyler Houston scores. Mr. Cy Young, two wild pitches in the game. Scott Service stepping up to the mic in the top of the eighth. Off of Andrew Jones's glove, relay to the plate. Dave Hansen beats the throw. Service pinching RBI his 35th rib this year, ties the game at four. Next batter, Doug Glenn will just slap it at an outside pitch, slaps it to right. Glenn will two for five, hitting 301 for the year. Service scores, Cubs go up 5-4. Mel Rojas trying to save in the ninth. Chipper Jones, straight butter. Down the line past Mark Grace. One run scores. Jones in at second with a double. Chipper, 45 RBI in his last 44 games. Ties the game at five. Next batter, Fred McGriff, straight margarine. Both of them are smooth. Mm -hmm. Single to right. Here comes the play. Chipper beats the throw from Sammy Sosa. Crime dog. McGriff, 973rd career RBI. Braves win. Juiced of the tribe. And Dave Justice base hit. Brian Giles scores. Jim Tomey's going to test Jim Edmonds' arm. And just how many highlights can this guy put together? Indians trail just 2-1 to one until Sandy Alomar Jr. hits his 13th home on the left in the bottom of the second. Ties the score at 2. Bottom of the third. Hill in yet more trouble. One little two, little three little Indians on the bases, and Sandy Alomar at the plate. And Alomar gets into the inning ending, one, two, three double play, but he'll have 72 pitches through three innings. And top of the fifth, Tony Phillips strikes out, so he's already irate. Then somebody tosses a peanut at him. He screams at the fan in the stands, and security gives him the gate. Top of the sixth, Angels leading 3-2, and Jim Edmonds tags Charles Nagy. 17th home run, 422 feet away. Angels up 4-2, and upon further review, they got the wrong guy. I guess maybe he was headed to the bathroom or something. Bottom of the sixth, Alomar Jr. at bat again, facing Ken Hill again. Robbed by Dave Hollins, who gets the, uh, his man at first. Bottom of the seventh, Indians threatening again. Runners at the corners, two outs. This time it's Mike James on, Manny Ramirez. Tony Phillips playing second base robs him. Angels go on to win 5-2. Phillips gets the last lap, and we never did know if they got the right guy. I guess that's a case for the baseball detectives. Dun, 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 dun. Ken Hill, one Seattle. Ken Griffey Jr. on third for Jay Beater with one out. Will Cordero snags the liner, and Ken Griffey's coming home. And Will says, no, fruit cup for you. Or he's called out. Looks a little safe to me. Seattle up 4-2 in the top of the eighth when Edgar Martinez plays insurance man with two men on against Butch Henry over the monster. 17th home run of the year. Seattle up 7-2, but the pliable Mariners pen took over. Sox scored twice in the eighth and in the bottom of the ninth. Darren Bragg doubles off of Paul Sorrento at first. Cordero scores. It's now 7-6 at this point with two outs. No more Garcia Powers, the last out. And he grounds to A-Rod, who throws it away. His 20th error of the year allows Bragg to tie the game at seven. And in the bottom of the 10th, base is juiced for Garcia Power again with two out. He takes Edwin Hurtado off the monster. Jesus Tavares scores the winning run, and Lou Pinella can't believe it. His defense and his pen fail him in this one. Reeder facing Carl Everett. Looking. Reeder went seven innings, seven hits, four strikeouts. Bottom of the fifth, Brian Johnson. Got it. Off of Rick Reed, Johnson's third homer of the year. He came over for the Tigers in a trade just a couple weeks back. Giants lead 1-0. Top of the seventh, Luis Lopez. Grounds went up the middle. Jeff Kent robbing his former team. Not his teammate. He's never teammates with Luis Lopez, as far as I recall. Bottom of the seventh, Giants lead 1-0. And Brian Johnson does it again. Second homer of the game, fourth of the season. Giants lead 2-0. 
It's a 2-1 lead in the top of the eighth. Dusty Baker blowing on his fist. That's a sign of nervousness, believe me. With the bases juiced, Everett this time singles through the right side off Julian Tavares. Two-run score, 45 RBIs in the season for Carl Everett. Mets win 5-2. Dusty's hitting the railing, and the Mets record their 31st comeback win of the year and snap a three-game losing squid. Seven K's for Kyle. He has 143 strikeouts this year. Mike DeFelice facing Kyle, top three. Bouncer down the line. Bill Spires raising the bar for all third basemen. One bouncer got him. You want it again, you got it again. Spires also two for four in the night. He made that throw from the Cardinal Sweet play. Top eight, Ron Gant. Sacks Jack. Strows up 4-1. Gant representing hard. Bouncer up the middle into center field. Two run score. Four three Two Cardinals. They would score. later tie it. Run 49 RBI this year. Four four game. Two runners on for Chuck Carr. Pops the bun up. Tom Lampkin getting his swerve get dive one. on. Nice hustle for Tom. Two battles tight. later. Tony Russo tells to Mark Pitkaisik and buy an ice cream and cookies if you get this guy out. Doesn't work. Craig Biggio, I'm feeling you, kid. I am feeling you, Craig. Into right field, all the way to the wall. Clears the bases, which is triple. Biggio's been the bomb. Six for his last eight. Five RBI in his last two games. Astros win at 7-4. Daryl Kyle, 15th win of the season. Eight wickets. Schools, Rafael Palmero looking to then Pudge Rodriguez tells Brady Anderson, don't you know I lead the bigs in throwing out would-be base stealers and I've got five gold gloves? Don't try to play me like that. Top two, Scott Kamenecki comes inside on Pudge, hits him on the left hand. Rodriguez goes down in pain. Check it out again. The pitch hits Pudge square on the left hand. Rodriguez hitting 332 would lead the game. X-rays negative, bruised left hand. Bottom two, one zip Rangers. Standing ovation for Harold Baines. First at bat, back with the O's. We built the drama. And Burke gets Baines to ground out the second. Baines 0 for 3, but he did get a walk. Bottom four. Bases loaded for Geronimo Barroa. One zip. Barroa. Yep, yep. The single to right center. Jeff Rebele and Bain scores. Rebele, a small change, 231 hitter, big time in this game, three for four in the day. Orioles up two on. That was all Kamenecki would need. Benches Mark McLemore in the fifth. Mac 0 for four. Case Henry Mercedes in the sixth. O's pitching did not allow a hit after the second inning. Kamenecki, six strikeouts. O's win at 3 1. Tino Martinez, gotta go, gotta go. Bottom one, Fat Jack with the score already one zip. League leading 36th homer of the year. 99 RBI leads the AL three zip Yankees. Top two, David Wells rocks Scott Brosius to sleep with an ill curveball. Then he freezes Scott Spezia with another slamming curve. Wells pitched four and a third before allowing a hit. Charlie Hayes out with the bruised foot. Izzy Malona smashes the grounder off of Wade Boggs' hand. Boggs, the five-time batting champ, would lead the game. He's listed as day-to-day. -day. Luis Soho will take his place. Next batter, Wells facing Mark Bellhorn with runners at the corners. Get some looking on the outside corner. Wells, ninth K. Yankee fans counting Wells' cage with beer mugs. Bellhorn, 0 for 4. Top 6, paints the outside corner again on Patrick Lennon. 11 mugs of beer in the wall. Next batter, he gets his defense to help. Soho, backhand on McGuire shot. Nice scoop by Martinez for the out. Soho also in 4 for 5 with an homer. Called David Wells bus driver because he was taking the A's to school. School Matt Stair, Scott Spezio, Jason Jami. No more beer mugs. We ran out. Forget about it. We got beer cups. In the ninth, Wells didn't get the strikeout, but he gets Brocious to fly out to center. Wells, 16 Ks. The saga. P Funk. Uncut Funk. Adult Bomb. After striking out his last four at bats Tuesday, Big Cat belts his 27th homer of the year. We're tied at two. Bottom two, Rockies up 3 2. Ellis Burks takes Jeff Juden out. In his first game since June 17th, Burks yanks his 18th homer of the year, 5 2 Rockies. Top seven, Expos down 7 4. David Segui with the man on. Segui. Oh, yeah. Skin to win. Segui's 10th homer of the year, Expos within one. Skin to win is a scheme kind of phrase there. Thank you. Street game Thank you very me. much. Thank Later, top seven, Expos with two on one out. Down seven, six, Jerry. Depoto case, Chris Widger. Widger, wicket, 0 for 5, two out. Next batter, Depoto gets pinch hitting F.P. Santangelo to pop up to Eric Young at second. Rockies escape a huge jam. Bottom eight, two on, Andres Galarraga. Oh, my good. For real, though. No, he didn't, y'all. Three-run homer. Second of the game. 28th of the year. 20th career multi-homer game. First big leaguer to crack. Valdez was called up when Harold Baines was traded away. And he pays dividends. Base hit. 
Two runs come on down, and the White Sox take a 2-1 lead. That was your score in the top of the fourth when Travis Fryman hits a shot to his counterpart. Robin Ventura robs him. He gets him. Top of the fifth, Brian Hunter on second. That's Brian. That's Bobby Higginson at the plate. And he takes one down the line off of Doug Drabeck. Hunter scores from second, ties it all up at two. But the bottom of the sixth, Scott Sanders pitches to the newest DH, that being the Big Hurt, who puts one on the board. Thomas is 25th of the season. Nice try by Hunter. White Sox win. can't do anything with it. Yamil Benitez fumbles it. Bip Roberts leaps and can't make the catch. Then Benitez in right. The ball goes over his head. Twins score eight runs in the first. More than enough for Brad Radke. Facing Dean Palmer. Strikes. Look, Radke had a no-hitter through five. Bottom of the sixth, Radke the innings on him. facing the Chili Davis. And Davis breaks it up Chili, with a blooper to left. Radke goes seven innings, giving up three hits and one run. And the Twins win 11-1. Radke improves to 15-5. He has won 11 straight. The last Twins pitcher to do that, Scott Erickson, who won 12 in a